In a world dominated by deep learning algorithms, many traditional machine learning algorithms are cast aside. We're at a point where pretty much every problem is solved with a neural network of some sort. However, some of our traditional machine learning algorithms actually perform better, not to mention are often much more computationally efficient and reliable. One of these algorithms actually outperforms deep learning approaches in many Kaggle competitions, and that algorithm is called XGBoost. Considering its power and ease of use, XGBoost is easily the most underrated machine learning algorithm. XGBoost originally started as a research project by programmer Tian Chi Chen. It's a gradient boosting library, which means that it uses gradient descent to find the optimum model, much like deep learning. Uh, it's also using decision trees, similar to a random forest method. And through intelligent gradient boosting and the use of many different decision trees, XGBoost is outperforming traditional uh, deep learning algorithms. This is because XGBoost takes a holistic approach to learning, where it pulls together different branches of different decision trees. This concept is known as ensemble learning. Ensemble learning performs the best in many scenarios, especially on Kaggle, in part because in some competitions, Kagglers are mixing and matching the models together to slightly raise their competition score ever so higher. Um, why that annoys me, we can talk about in another video. But for now, if you'd like to learn more about XGBoost, I highly recommend this video by arguably one of the best machine learning teachers on YouTube. Uh, but for now, let's get into actually applying XGBoost. All right, so now that you guys know a little bit about XGBoost, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to implement in Python and also how powerful it is. So first things first, I have a new Colab notebook opened and I have uploaded a breast cancer data set. Uh, this data set I got from Kaggle and of course all the code that we'll be doing today uh, as well as the data set will be linked in the description. So you don't have to worry about that. But as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, columns about different attributes of a given tumor and whether that tumor is diagnosed as malignant or benign. So first things first, let's import our data set. So we're gonna import pandas as PD. Our data set is gonna be the name of our file, which we've uploaded. And then the X is going to be all of the columns except for the ID and the diagnoses. And the Y is going to be the diagnoses column, which is the first column because zero one Python starts at zero. So I'll run that. And then next, all we have to do to implement XGBoost into Python, I'm not kidding, is we just go import XGBoost. And then we're gonna name our model. We'll just say XGBoost is going to be equal to XGBoost dot XGB. And let's say uh, classifier. So we can do XGB classifier, or XGB regressor, based on if you want a classification problem or a regression problem. Since we have two options, either malignant or benign for our diagnoses, we're going to give it the classifier option. Um, however, if we were to do the regression option and then just say if the value is over 50%, then it's malignant, else it's benign, uh, the algorithm would work almost exactly the same. So we have xgb.classifier, and we'll say xgboost.fit, and we will fit x to y. So we'll run that. And as you can see here, we have our xgb classifier, and it prints out all of the default parameters. Now something really cool about the xgboost algorithm is you can play with some of these parameters, uh, look at what they mean on the documentation, and you will find that you can also get your accuracy a lot higher by adjusting those parameters. It's, it's actually kind of crazy. And this is also very common on Kaggle too, where people will find just the right parameters where XGBoost per, um, creates the best model possible. So now we have XGBoost.fit, X and Y. Let's see how well it does. So I'll say from sklearn.metrics, we're gonna import um, our confusion matrix. And then we'll say uh, X or Y pred is going to be equal to XGBoost dot predict, and we're going to predict from the X values. And what we're going to do is we're going to predict, we're going to compare our actual Y values to our Y prediction values using a confusion matrix. So we'll see exactly how many misclassifications we got. 
And so then we'll print confusion matrix and we'll compare the Y pred to the Y. So we'll print that out and you see we have zero misclassifications. So here we have the true positives, here we have the true negatives, and here we have where our incorrect predictions would be. And in this data set, now given uh, we actually trained on the entire data set, we didn't do a train test split, so this is partially due to overfitting, but we see that we have zero incorrect predictions on our data set. So as you can see guys, XGBoost is super, super easy and super, super powerful to implement in Python. And that is why I think that it is by far the most underrated machine learning algorithm. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about what we did in this video, please leave them down below. Now, if I could have just one more minute of your time, I would like to tell you about a service that I've been using for over a year now called Script. Now, just as a side note, Script did not sponsor me to make this video. I just wanted to tell you about it. Put simply, Script is a lot like Audible, except for instead of being $15 a month, it's only nine. And instead of only having two audiobooks per month, you get an unlimited access to a plethora of audiobooks, ebooks, documents, and even sheet music and magazines. So for me, this was obviously a no brainer. And right now, if you use the link in the description, you get 60 days free of Scribd and I get one month if you sign up using my link. So that's why Scribd didn't officially sponsor this video. I'm just telling you about it so that I can get some free months and I can continue learning and you can also continue learning with your 60 day free trial. So thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.